Welcome to Life on Maui. My name is Stephen Freed, and I'm very pleased to have my guest today, Gary Kanye, who is a theater director, a minister, and an all-around incredible Maui person. Welcome to the show, Gary. Thank you very much, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. What led you to direct theater in the first place? It's a great question. Uh, actually, it starts back when I was in college, and I was studying computer science, of all things. Mm -hmm. And I, after a year of working with analytical problems and calculus and mathematicals, it just decided it wasn't going to be my life. And I just made a choice to go into the arts. And then my question was, am mm. I going to be a dancer or am I going to be a theater director? Mm. And I chose theater directing, although I love to dance. I just don't do it professionally. Mm. So that led me to New York, where I uh, actually produced 13 productions, worked freelance, and had a fabulous time directing theater. What were some of your first productions? Well. Right off the bat, when I got to New York, I met a whole s group of, of playwrights. And these playwrights would come together and we would work through some of the issues they were in their writing. And when a playwright had a play that was ready to be read, I had also been working with a group of actors. And I would bring the actors in and we would read through the play so that the playwright could hear it. And when a play was ready, uh, meaning it was ready for show, we'd rent a theater, get backers, I'd cast the play, and put on the show. Well, I did that 13 times, and I did everything from new comedies, dramas, uh, opera, new musicals, uh, all, really all kinds of work. You've worked with some interesting people. I talked to you earlier. Yeah. Uh, you worked with some interesting people. Who, who were some of those people you worked with? Well, directing, I was able to go and assist Garson Kanan of Born Yesterday fame and, and many other things. And then I also was able, through Garson, to then work with Arthur Lawrence of La Cage of Poix, of West Side Story, and hmm. those shows. And the fascinating thing about working with those two very well-established directors is I began to be able to see how they would address a situation or how they would direct the show. So when I would direct, I could say, okay, what would Garson do in this case? Or what would Arthur do in this case? Mm. It's a fabulous learning mm. modality. And on the acting side, when I first got to New York, I worked with this wonderful repertory theater company called Circle Repertory Theater. And there's a whole group of actors and directors and designers and stuff. I was in the development office writing grants. Who were some of the uh, people well, who, who came uh, through there? Uh, Bill Hurt, um, David Mamet was one of the playwrights there, his wife Lindsay Krauss, uh, Al Pacino, hmm. uh, who was a very short man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and one time we had this direct mail campaign and uh, we'd have all the actors come in and write personal notes, please send money to our theater, and then they'd eat food and talk story with each other. And right at the end of that campaign, uh, Christopher Reeve was also part of the company, mm. and he had been in Europe filming Death Trap, the movie. So he wasn't there during that early part of the p campaign. He's, that's with Michael Caine, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. And so he came in, I scheduled an appointment, and there were a couple of office people who hadn't sent out their direct mail thing, so I scheduled to have them in the room with him. So it's no fun to sit in the room and fill out forms if there isn't someone to talk to. It gets kind of boring. Uh, well, the story goes that when Christopher walked into the theater, now mm. he's a member of this company, huh. the receptionist dropped the mail huh. and couldn't speak. <laughs> and my friend, who's a box office manager, was there, and she picked up the phone and called me and said, Christopher's <laughs> here to see you. <laughs> and I came out and met him and took him to the office. And at the same time, I get word from these 
office people who were going to be in the room with him that they couldn't be in the same room with Christopher Reeve. It was like they were going to be in the ro same room with Superman, you know. Uh, but he was a very handsome man. Uh, probably the most handsome man I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. So I moved my stuff into the office there, and we he wrote a few, and we talked. And he was a commercial airline pilot. Mm. Uh, he had married a dancer. He used to ride the subway all the time. Uh, he was just a really very interesting man. Uh, it was very sad what happened to him. He, he was fell off of his his into horses and equestrian activities, mm -hmm. fell off of a horse and was injured. Spinal cord injury. Spinal cord injury. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it was sad that he he went that way. Yeah. But and from there, he did uh, a lot for people who had injuries like that. Incre incredible investment for yeah. research and, and just making it possible for people to do what they could with yeah. their limitation. Yeah. Uh, one thing you were sharing with me is that uh, one of the things that uh, had you think you might not want to continue directing was that at 25 years old, you had high blood pressure. Yes. So, well, say a little about that. I, I know that you're very uh, oriented toward perf you know, really perfectionism. Well, I, I do like to get things right. Yeah, I know. Uh, and something that I developed in New York, which the city that never sleeps, well, I didn't. I didn't sleep for nine years. Oh, my God. Uh, and I was always doing things. In fact, I always did three things at once. Fourth thing, egg all over the floor. But I could juggle with the best of them when it was three things. Oh and I was God. just doing, 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 which isn't, doesn't groove with my rhythm. Mm. Uh, it, you it prefer one thing at of, a time? Set me out of balance. Mm -hmm. And so I was on high blood pressure, blood pressure medication by the time I was 25. And I found that just to counteract that is if I do one thing at a time, mm -hmm. then I'm fine. Phone rings, answer the phone, put mm -hmm. the pen down, mm -hmm. do the conversation, hang up and then pick up whatever, do the next thing. But one thing at a time gives me serenity and peace. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, that's a much better way to live life. It is. It, it means I'll be able to live a little while longer, too. Yeah, yeah, good, good.